If you like the video, make a drink and subscribe to the channel. The timing couldn't be much better. Just as Jaguar is on the brink of launching this new all-electric I-Pace, perhaps its most important car in years if not ever, so the Coventry firm gets the public relations break of a lifetime. Last month's wedding between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle saw them drive away from their wedding breakfast in Jaguar's one-off produced E-Type that had been converted to run on battery power. A much-loved British icon bought into the 21st century for a perfect combination of old and new. You could use the same description for this new I-Pace too. Jaguar's first ever electric car, it has beaten the likes of Audi, BMW and Mercedes in the race to bring a premium production full-sized, fully electric car to showrooms. On the electric side, WEVE obviously got the BMW i3, while Tesla has been successful globally but probably can still be regarded as something of a niche choice for many UK drivers. This I-Pace looks to be able to capitalize on two booming markets as well. Sales of electric vehicles were up 58% last year, while those of SOFs are expected to reach 24.3 million by 2020. Build an electric SUV then, and you get the best of both worlds. Well, thought's the theory anyway. In practice, despite the UK's 13,000 odd charging points and the fact that the electric car market share is growing, this will remain a left field choice for many. The I-Pace should answer many of the traditional electric car fears though. Two electric motors front and rear linked to a 90 kilowatts per hour battery, give the I-Pace four-wheel drive and a total, fully charged range of 298 miles. A standard home wall box for charging can give the I-Pace 80% of that range in 10 hours enough between you returning from work to leaving again in the morning and one more powerful 100 kW. Chargers are available, that charge time will be even faster. The I-Pace looks the part too. With none of the restrictions offered by a traditional engine and gearbox, Jaguar's design directory and Callum has managed to bring the I-Pace a level of modernity while still nodding to the firm's past heritage. It's tall thanks in part to the battery packs being located in a sandwich section between the wheels, but we especially love the front with its dominant air duct on the front bonnet. There are also pop-out door handles like the Range Rover Velar. The only element we're not entirely convinced by is the bluff, squared off rear. Not that you will be left wanting by its performance mind you. The I-Pace races from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds a virtue of all of the battery power being available immediately, unlike a traditional engine and it goes on to a 124 miles per hour top speed. Furthermore, that electric power allows you to tailor the I-Paces on road manners to suit your driving style. You can allow it to slowly creep forward when in gear like a traditional automatic or not, plus adapt the regenerative braking power in two levels either in low or high mode which brings a high degree of one pedal motoring the car braking considerably just by lifting off the throttle pedal. You can even change the car's noise to silent or a more dynamic hum that turns into a growl the faster the car goes. And you will be wanting to drive it fast. The availability of that immediate punch of acceleration means it's an addictive car to drive quickly with plenty of grip to help exploit that. The feeling that you're in a large and tall car never fully escapes you, but it does its best to hide its substantial 2.1 ton weight. In fairness. The quick steering and the advantages of the four-wheel drive which you can sometimes feel helping and slingshotting you out of tight corners gives the I-Pace a good degree of directness on the road. And a reasonable level of feel, though it could be better. A good ride quality especially in comfort mode does help matters as does the minimal body roll, though the sheer physics of moving that weight can't unfortunately be ignored. The sad facts are that if you want the range, you need the batteries. And if you have the batteries then, for the moment anyway, you also have their weight. This is sure to improve in the future, but at present this is as good as it gets. We won't mind some extra settings to the regenerative braking power either. Only having two settings means that the higher one can sometimes feel too aggressive when cruising but the lower one isn't enough. We'd prefer the likes of the VWE Opry Golf's 5 mode settings for a happier medium between the two. As far as the interior is concerned, it's pretty good news though. 
There are two touch screens in the center of the dash, Jaguar's usual and control system for the sat-nav, infotainment and also the car's F controls, with a second for the heating and ventilation. Rotary dials are also present to quickly change the temperature settings on the move without having to take your eyes off the road for too long. Overall, it's a combination that works well, although we're not convinced by the rotary dials that have a slight odd function that requires you to lift their outer edge to change the fan speed. Not only is it not especially intuitive, but the metal look knurled plastic that they're made of feels a little cheap. There are some nice touches, though such as the fact that SatNav can predict how much range you will have left by your destination and divert to a charge point if need be. We also like the small extra trays under the rear seats and the large 10-liter cubby between the two front seats as well as the six USB points. Practicality-wise, the iPace score is highly too, courtesy of the batteries under the floor. Rear seat head in legroom is good, although foot space is tight if the front seats are fully lowered, while there is a decent 656 liter boot that expands to 1453 liters. There is a further small 27 liter space under the bonnet, but realistically it's all but redundant. Judged as a normal car, the I-Pace can't help but fall short in terms of its handling and also its pretty hefty 58,995 pounds starting price. But this isn't a normal car, and in many ways this is possibly a more crucial arrival even than BMW SI3 in terms of the first step into start at all and it is our motoring futures, something. That Jaguar must be hugely applauded for. Whether we like it or not, electric cars are our future, and the bravery of taking this first step for a company like Jaguar and, ultimately, its boss Dr. Ralph Speth for signing it off can't be overestimated. The fact that our future will be available to buy in showrooms from as soon as next month, with a workable mileage range and all the look and feel of a Jaguar is very good news indeed. And if an electric Jaguar is good enough for the new Duke and Duchess of Sussex, then it's good enough for us too. Logbook Lowdown Model Jaguar I-Pace On sale July Price range £58,995 minus £76,995. Engine electric minus 90 kilowatts per hour. Power 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. 124 miles per hour top speed. Range 298 miles.